Now, let's talk about AI. What are your thoughts on AI? Um, it's here to stay. <laughs> it's my first word, first few words. I think the, the reason why I say that is because I think, especially in academia, there's lots of maybe more seasoned, older people in academia who are very much against it and who think that if you're using AI, you're less of an academic. It's reducing critical thinking. It's reducing the ability for you know people to think, to, to use their own minds, whatever. But it's here to stay. So I think we need to learn how to use it ethically and teach the younger generation students how to use it in a way that can help enhance productivity. So that could be there are tools where you can upload a PDF of a search paper and ask a question, what's the main result? Or what is the main takeaway from this paper? And it can tell you. So that's amazing. That's saving mm -hmm. hours of time. I think it's amazing. I think it's a great way forward. You know, when most people think of uh, AI, you know, ChatGPT comes to yeah. mind first. True. Uh, is there more to it than ChatGPT? Oh, so much And more. what else is out there? So, oh, so much. There's so much. There's an AI tool that can do anything. Like there's an AI tool for, for everything. Like right now, if we were, if you want, you can transcribe this podcast to text using AI. You can transcribe a voice note to uh, the opposite way, text using it, or, or from text to a voice note. You can draw a diagram. You can you can do anything with AI. You can literally do anything. Um, the capabilities are, are endless, but I think you need to know why you're using it, how you're using it, and use it to the best of your ability. Um, How do you think it's going to affect the job market? Because if you can use it for everything. Yeah, that's a, yeah. I mean, that's the question that I think people are most worried about. Yeah. It, of course, some jobs will be lost, as was the case when they introduced in the, the internet, as was the case when they introduced certain tools that we have today. Of course, certain jobs are going to be lost, and that's part of the economy, as part of the cycle of the world. Um, but it, I think what it will do is it will allow people, especially, for example, us entrepreneurs and people in our field, to work more efficiently. So it hasn't taken any, anyone's job away, for me in particular, but what it has done is enhanced how much time I'm able to give other things. So it's just helped the productivity. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. What, do we, what are you currently using it for in your business? Um, I'm not using it necessarily in my business itself. Okay, for my business, I would say customer service is one aspect. So on the website, we have an AI chat box. So if someone asks a question, it can respond uh, with answers from the website which is really cool so if, if someone asks how much does this cost the ai tool knows how much it costs from the website information and it can tell the ai tell the customer what you know what the answer is which is quite nice um other than that i think our web our business is quite manual um we have editors that do i think our business is very i wouldn't say anti-ai but it's the idea of manual effort it's the idea of someone's going to edit your work someone's going to give you feedback so in that sense, in the business itself, we don't use it, but I use it as con for content. So I use it quite heavily for content and I make resources like templates and things like that about ChatGPT or about AI tools. So I don't really use it for the business, but I'm sure I could if I, found, if I looked for a way. I know uh, a lot of your audience are people, you know, in academia, mm. even though ours uh, are a bit different, more yeah. entrepreneurship. How can somebody, let's say they want to start their own, hmm. uh, producing more content on social media? Yeah. How Ooh. can they use your AI to yeah. leverage to help them? That's a good. I think ChatGPT is perfect for this, or even Gemini, mm -hmm. which is which was X called Bard. Um, so let's just use stick with ChatGPT. You can ask ChatGPT to create a full uh, schedule for you for posting. So you can say something like, let's say. I am an educational content creator. I make videos on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok three times a week. Um, I talk about productivity, academia, and uh, let's say um, education. So these are my topics. Can you give me a one month schedule? This is what I'm saying to ChatGPT. Give me a one month schedule of what to post, the content and the dates, and put it in a table format. In seconds, you'll get every single day what to post, for every single platform. And whilst I don't copy and paste that, it's really good inspiration. I think it's amazing. Like it's so useful and it saves you hours of thinking. Yeah. Is there a learning barrier to it? In what sense? Let's say w when the internet came about, no, Okay. right? People are like, oh, you know, like yeah, they had yeah, this yeah. fear of computers. Yeah. And then even when social media came about, yeah. you know, other than our 
you know, aunts just mm. checking on us, mm -hmm. but people didn't really know how to use it for business yeah. effectively. Yeah. AI seems a lot simpler, it is. but it can also be more complicated based on its, uh, you know, capability. Yeah. So, yeah. I think for the average user, it's pretty simple. Um, if you're just using the standard, ask a question, get an answer. It's just, the, you ha the thing about AI is it's different to go a Google search. Treat AI like you talk, you're talking to a friend. Like what I just said now for the content schedule is what I'd write. Hey, can you write no full stops, no punctuation? It's just talking to it. So I think it's it takes a little bit of re like thinking and rewiring because what you're writing doesn't have to make any sense. It will figure it out for you. Um, and there's something called prompt engineering, which is you using the right prompts to get the right output. So the more information I give, to chat GPT, the better my output would be. So that's why I said, I am this, this is what I do, this is my content. The more I give, the more I tailor that prompt, the better the output will be. Um, so there's no barrier, you can learn it in you know, 10, 15 minutes. The, the, I, you know, uh, I think chat GPT came to the marketplace about a year and a half now. November 2022. 20, 22. 22. 22. Mm -hmm. And the way I've seen it since I've been using it, I was actually, I. I I think I started using it early 2024, right? Oh, wow. Not long yeah, ago. Yeah. Uh, actually, sorry. We're 2023. Three. <laughs> yeah, we're already 2024. Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, 2023. So a few months went while it was in the marketplace. Yeah. And the first thing I realized was is that like this actually really narrows down the gap mm. because, I mean, I started my career as a copywriter. Okay. And, oh, so. and I used to get paid a lot of money to write copy. I don't think... Yeah. With ChatGPT, the you know, uh, with you know being available to everybody, mm. anybody can come up as you yeah. mentioned, give it a prompt, and it's gonna and not only give it a prompt, like I've mm. actually used it to say, hey, write a copy yeah. like such and such a you know uh, yeah. person, and this can be like a one of the top copywriters in the world, and it's pretty darn close. Yeah, um, and we talked about you know uh, other tools you can use it, whether it's making mm -hmm. a video. So with a tool like this mm. available, with as you mentioned, you can go in and have an entire month's content yeah. prepared for you. When you can go in and, and literally uh, learn about any subject mm -hmm. and, and, and get massive, massive information summarized to you in yeah. bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think this is going to accelerate the number of people that are going to you know, uh, succeed in mm. their fields as entrepreneurs, whatever they may be? Or do you feel like uh, it's not going to change much? Only a few a few people are actually going to grasp it and uh, use it for, you know, uh, for themselves. I think it will definitely help more people do more. Um, like you said, it, it can help you write blog posts. It can help you. But it do, I, I still don't think it takes away the human aspect of things. I, As someone who uses ChatGPT quite a lot, I can tell when someone else has used it. So I don't use it to write things. Because I, I, I know that it doesn't sound human and I still think that that human aspect is needed. So while some people might be using it um, and if it works for them, that's fine. I don't think it's necessarily taking away from a good copy, like oh, a good copywriter. Um, they will still be, they still know the human nuances that AI won't necessarily know. Um, but I mean, I'm all for anything that helps people work more productively and more efficiently. Um, and not everyone will jump on it, but eventually they will. So over time, I think it might.